This particular pen is straightforward to mount as all the bushings are the same size. Carefully tap the mandrel into the headstock. Follow this with one bushing, next a blank, another bushing, the next blank and the last bushing. Then finally the locking nut. Pull up the tailstock and tighten the locking nut gently. Please note that I have mounted the blanks in the same way as they have been cut. All pen turning can be turned with three basic tools. A roughing out spindle gouge, a parting tool and if necessary a spindle gouge, skew or similar tool. For this pen I shall be using one tool, the roughing out spindle gouge. The discipline of turning a pen is to get a totally parallel turn body. This does take a bit of practice, but I do find turning the gouge on its side, keeping the gouge at 90 degrees to the blank helps. We keep turning the pen until we reach the diameter of the bushings. It's the bushings that determine the final diameter of the pen. Different bushings, different diameters. If your blank is made from timber, Sanding is best done with the lathe switched off. If you were to sand with the lathe running, it would take much longer to get the desired finish, as you would be constantly removing scratches from cross sanding. Work your way through the grits until all scratches are removed. Once the sanding is complete, a sanding sealer should be applied. Wipe off the excess. Then cut back with fine abrasive. Follow this with a polish. A stick polish can give a very good instant finish, whereas a liquid polish needs time to harden before handling usually up to 48 hours. On this pen we're using two different stick polishes. The first is a satin finish. The second is a gloss finish. I'm using a plain white kitchen towel for polishing. This is for safety. If it was to get tangled in the lathe it would just tear, whereas a cloth would not. Now the turning and finishing is complete. Dismount the pen blanks, keeping them in order to retain the grain pattern. Replace the bushings on the mandrel as to not lose them. Assembly of the pen is done on the lathe. We remove the mandrel and revolving centre from the lathe. We replace this with a pen assembler. This is made from nylon and when assembling the pen is soft enough as to not mark the pen. First part is the upper barrel. The end cap or finial and the clip are pushed into the barrel using the tailstock and the pen assembler with firm pressure from the tailstock.
Next is the lower barrel and the nib. Once again using the tailstock to apply pressure to assemble. Next, turn the main assembler round, place the twist mechanism in the hole provided. Take the lower barrel and push the twist mechanism into the barrel until the marker is reached. This is on the twist mechanism. Slip on the centre ring, screw in the ink refill, push on the upper barrel. And there we have it, a finished pen.